Alright, so I have five stitches left on my needle. I've been decreasing all the way from the middle. When I've got five left is when I need to do the next step. This time, before we were knitting one all the time, this time you need to knit two. So there's one, two, then knit two together. So I'm going to get under these two stitches. I'm going to try to get under these two stitches. There we go. And then knit the last one. Now I have four stitches on my right needle and now I need to cast off. If you need some more review for cast off you can see my other video about that but I'll just do it here quickly. To cast off I'm going to knit two. One, two. Then I'm going to lift the bottom switch, excuse me, stitch. Bring it over the top one and off. Oops, and I lost the top one. Okay, hold on a sec. This will happen. I'm going to put them both back on. No need to panic. I'm going to knit two. There's one, two. Now I'll be more careful when I pull this one off. There, I've still got it hooked on. Okay, so I have one stitch bound off. I'm going to knit another one because I need two on my right needle when I'm binding off. Lift the bottom one. Up over the top one. I've still got the top one on my needle. Then knit the last one over to here. And lift that final one up off of here. All right, so I have that last loop on here. I am going to now take my scissors, snip it, pull it through, and now I'm going to tuck in my ends. I like to, and I'm going to go to the back, this is my back, just looks a little less neat than the other side. I'm going to slide it through a couple loops here. And then I like to go back through one. Don't pull it through all the way. Just get this so I have a loop. And I can make a knot. And then finish pulling it through. Just weaving it through these stitches to tuck in that tail. It's not really that important how you do it, just get it through, snip the edge off, and then do the same thing with your tail from the very beginning. Just tuck it through. And there you go, you've got a dishcloth or you can use it as a washcloth.